Trailer and license music are essential. It helps to set the tone, evoke emotions and create anticipation for a movie or a TV show. Yet the majority of new and aspiring trailer music composers do it wrong. So let's unlock the trailer music code and discuss three crucial steps to improve your trailer music writing skills. And by following these three steps, you will be able to craft impactful and more important, licensable trailer music. So step number one, the importance of the structure and the gaps. Gaps in trailer music serve two essential purposes. They allow the listener to sort of recalibrate their ears. They prevent sensory overload and make the track more impactful. And also gaps provide trailer music editors with space. For example, it enables them to insert dialogue or other sound effects. So make sure to incorporate these gaps throughout your composition. And also be aware of the structure to create an engaging and dynamic track trailer music track. So when it comes to structure, there is no precise rule on how to proceed. And there is of course room for variation. So yet following a structure like intro, main part, dramatic final part will do the trick. Very often you will also hear a quieter part before the dramatic final part. And please remember, always include these gaps in between these sections. Step number two, focus on a single melodic idea. I know it's very tempting to showcase your creativity by incorporating too many melodies, too many ideas. But this very often leads to a cluttering and very confusing sound. So instead, focus on developing a single and solid melodic theme. And by doing so, it will create a more cohesive and memorable piece of music. Step number three, focus on your arrangement first. So common pitfall is over compressing mixes and using too much limiter. And most of the time composers do it to compensate for an unbalanced arrangement. And this approach can lead to a loss of dynamics and clarity. And it also distracts from the impact of your trailer music. So instead focus on refining your arrangement first. Make sure that each instrument and sound has enough space in the mix. And then address frequency clashes, volume imbalance, or other arrangement issues. So first try to focus on a more dynamic arrangement and more polished sound before going to the mastering stage. As always, compressing and limiting should always be the icing on the cake. So let me know in the comments what you struggle with when it comes to trailer and licensed music. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will reply as soon as I can. And also if you want to learn more and dig deeper into trailer music, make sure to take a look at the video description. I have a few resources for you. I also have a full trailer music course featuring over 100 videos. And we also recently passed 700 students. I still can't believe it. As always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I would be really happy if you leave a like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye for now.